everybody welcome back to the channel we are back with the sea star and tonight we are going to check out the partial lunar eclipse on september 17 2024 it's just going to take a small bite out of the upper left hand edge of the moon uh, in the past i've had some problems going to the moon I've uh, made a few videos about that. Um, I was able to get a successful go-to to the moon by doing a, a plate solve and uh, simply uh, imaging anything in the sky will start a plate solve. Uh, the sea star does a plate solve before it starts imaging. So after the plate solve, the sea star knew exactly where it was. It was aligned. And then it went to the moon uh, seemingly with no problem. That was uh, about a month ago at a star party and now, yeah, I can really see that the moon shadow is starting to take a bite out of the moon. So I started up the sea star. I opened the arm so I could take my lens cap off. And now we are just going to try doing a go to the moon and see if it will go there or whether I have to do a plate cell first. So let's just try going to the moon just like this. Uh, Got to level the sea star. All right, so I made a couple videos about um, the accessories for the Sea Star, and one of them was uh, a leveler shootout, which uh, had two different kinds of levelers. And I'm not using a leveler. I just simply adjusted the tripod leg here on a temporary table that I have, and um, I'm just going to go with that. And you can see that it did not ask for a compass calibration. That is because I turned the Sea Star on with the power switch facing east and the Sea Star main camera basically facing north. So wow, it is actually going toward the moon and you can see it's getting a little bit brighter there. It may have overshot the moon. Let me see, it is mostly, looks like it might actually go to the moon. It is more or less pointing in the right direction here. Oh, there you go, it looks like we're, yeah, look at this, this is awesome. Who says you can't do a go-to to the moon? But we're not done yet. Is the moon in the center? Uh, no, it is not in the center. It's almost in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to go to stargazing. And um, let me see. I just uh, want to start the camera up without actually going to anything here so um, all right let me try this okay I'm gonna hit cancel all right now looks like there's a couple stars in there now we can start enhancing the image and the idea is one, this is a star field a little bit or, or a section of the sky a little bit to the right of the moon so once it starts enhancing an image and I start getting something here, I will stop this and then do a go to the moon. And since it knows where it's at, it should find the moon. And I really don't know why the sea star has such a difficult time finding the moon. It doesn't have a difficult time for me to find the sun, any deep sky object or any planet. But the moon, man, it is just brutal. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me uh, stop this and do an autofocus. All right, so let's get out of this. Go back to solar system. Now let's go to the moon and it should find the moon with no problem. It's looking promising. Wow, even a plate solve didn't do it. Alright, so I manually, finally, manually slewed over to the moon, and this is probably the extent of the lunar eclipse tonight. It is 944. It just happens to be at the maximum that we're going to see here in Chicago, Illinois. So let me go ahead and take a picture. Going to hit share. Alright, well, this is what you're going to see at the end of the video. 
probably a little bit of an enhanced version of that. But I gotta tell you, uh, I've used the Sea Star quite a bit. I've been in the astronomy hobby for quite a while, and um, Sea Star works great with everything except the go to to the moon. Clear skies, everybody.